Linda Geyer and welcome to this week's episode. Today we're going to be talking about trait 16, enthusiasm. In the human design system it's called the gate of skills and what we see here is being able to make your mark on the world through your talent or your enthusiasm for living. This is where the dancer becomes a dance. One is able to practice and repeat the skill so many times that you kind of transcend the skill and you get to this place of mastery. Now mastery of anything doesn't happen overnight and whether you have only the 16 in your design or you have the whole channel which is the 1648, one is going to need to identify with something that they feel enthusiastic about that really lights them up from the inside and then start practicing, start repeating, keep going at it again and again and again, even if it feels really mundane and potentially even a bit boring at some points. The only way for one to take a skill to a level of mastery is through this constant repetition. So one can see that, you know, if you're not interested in the topic or the skill, and you don't have the enthusiasm for it, you're really never going to have the discipline necessary to be able to achieve the level of mastery. But once you get to that place of mastery, this is where the harmonic flow of energy will happen for you because you're going to have such a, a level of, of mastery of that skill that you're going to be able to express that into the world. You're going to be able to share it with others. And you're going to do that outside of the realm of conscious thought. It's kind of like it just becomes who you are. You don't really need to think about it. It just flows from you. People with this particular trait, uh, especially if they don't have the 48 on the other side, can be really self-critical. And they can often feel like they don't have the depth that they need to be able to um, express that skill. And so just watching this week as we are sitting in this energy of the 16 to see where your enthusiasm is what are you enthusiastic about and perhaps you can even get really enthusiastic about the depth that you have already about the level of mastery that you've achieved in your skills what i'd pay attention to is what lights you up what excites you uh, what uh, do you want to spend time practicing and repeating and going over and over again to that point of mastery? And then also, what have you already mastered? Potentially, you've already mastered quite a bit in your life, but you may not um, realize that you've mastered it. So this particular trait, 16, is in the communication and action. So there is always going to be this potential for expression. It's also a projected trait, which means that it needs to be recognized and invited. So you could spend all your time practicing a particular skill, but unless somebody else comes by and recognizes you for that, the opportunity for you to share or express that skill is not going to be there. And so instead of just kind of blabbing what you know or that level of mastery, just Focus on doing the things that you enjoy, doing the things that you love, doing the things that feel really great for your energy and for your unique expression. And when the right people show up, they are going to recognize you. They're going to see you. And then you're going to have this opportunity to be able to share what you see. How I see this showing up for businesses is this is a great opportunity to really recognize those people in the workplace that have achieved a certain level of mastery in what have they've been doing. Perhaps now is a time to really recognize people for what they've achieved. And in addition, there's going to be this enthusiasm around this week, this enthusiasm for really putting in the effort that's necessary. You know, when one thinks about talent, um, one could say that talent is only about 1% and the rest of it, the other 99% is all about hard work. And so in many respects, this particular trait brings with it a huge amount of discipline and a huge amount of willingness to dedicate a huge amount of effort into, uh, into a particular project or 
um, basically becoming an expert in a particular skill area. So just watch for that this week and see how that shows up. As always, I'd love to hear your stories about whether you have this particular trait in your design or how you see it showing up for you this week as it's moving through the transits. And each week I release a new video. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss one of these, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope that you have an amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye for now.